Well, I think there might be a difference between my agenda and the leadership's agenda, me being in the super minority. My agenda is to do everything I can to fight for public education and two, for transparency, both in what we do in there and also in campaign finance, so that, that it's not going to be where people are giving money to legislators during the term. I think it taints the situation. I also believe that what we'll end up with is some pretty significant uh, debates and conflict over any attempts to give less funding to public schools and the fact that we're going to enter into this session with a significant budget deficit. Uh, that's not being negative, that's being a realistic person, that the numbers just aren't there. And with all of the prior year's tax cuts that are being implemented, that we won't have the revenue we need to meet basic needs. There have been some recent reports that the taxes collected have increased and it looks like the projections may be higher than anticipated. Well, I think there's been people that have said that, but if you look at the last four months compared to the last four months of the previous fiscal year, that's not accurate. In fact, we're actually down. What do you think that's going to precipitate? What, what, do, what do you see happening as a result? Uh, more cuts, even more cuts to basic services that I'm not sure where they can even come from when we've got direct, direct care workers for mental health patients that are working full time, 40 hours a week, and bringing home $918 a month. Uh, it's going to hurt the poor is what it's going to do. It's going to hurt the working class. And it's gonna hurt basic services like education, mental health, roads and bridges that we desperately need because those are our economic drivers. An educated and a skilled workforce is the most important investment we can make. Yeah. Uh, that's the working groups, um, how do you think that is going to play in it? They've been meeting all summer, they've completed that. What do you think is gonna happen as a result of that information? Well, I think that's putting a cart before the horse. It's unfortunate that I, I disagree with the leadership on having all of these working groups out of session. I respect the individuals who came as they were called by the leaders to participate in them, but I think that they were far too scripted and it was a waste of money that these are jobs we should be doing during the three months we're in session when the people pay us to do their work, not to come down for months at a time to learn what we should have already known. One more question. Um, what, what is your anticipation for, this, for the overall session, the tone of the session? What, what are your hopes? The term of the session, my number one hope is that we attempt to fund education in a quality and fair way between all school districts that can move us out of 50th place. I'm not saying that money is the panacea to give more money, but I know that giving less money will certainly hurt our public schools. The second thing that I hope is that we can undo some of the damage that these devastating cuts have done to mental health and health care and DHS.